Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, I'm here at uh, Krusty's Stitch Shop. I'm here with the owner, Austin, and uh, he's uh, working on my C10 interior for the uh, the Ready to Paint build. That's what we call it, Ready yeah, to Paint. And we thought it was Ready to Paint till we, <laughs> till we started messing with it, man. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, tell me a little bit about your shop, man, and what you do. Uh, I do custom hot rod interiors. You know, okay. Anything top to bottom, seats. Door panels, kick panels, uh, yeah. stereo shit. Okay. Um, kind of do it all. So it, it don't matter. Nope, it don't, don't matter. matter. Hey, what what you doing with this uh with this fifty five behind us? It's a uh, it's a full top and bottom. Uh, I call it top and bottom. It's everything on the inside. Okay. Yeah, I see. Come around here. Yeah. So. Making the door panels and stuff from scratch. Um, underneath the dash, all the vents and everything. Cut on the light. Man, that uh, that door panel is man. That door panel is right. The goal with this is kind of just keep it simple. Don't overpower the car, but make it tasteful at the same time. Got you, got you. you no, know, mount the speakers in the package tray, but do some grills and yeah. You know, some kind of little design work back here. Did you start in the trunk at all? No, we're not doing the trunk on this. So trunk is staying exactly. somewhat stock. Yep, just basically package straight forward, top to bottom. So. Okay, what kind of hours do you think you got into this car? A bunch. I will have. Uh, <laughs> probably 250, 300 set and done. Yeah, so. yeah. But when you're going for a high-end build, this is what it takes. I mean, you yeah. know, you, you got to touch everything, yes. everything. Yeah. So it ain't, it's not just... Uh, one, two, three. It's, right. it's a process. It is, yeah, it is. And trying to make everything fit, man. Your gaps and stuff's where it's at. You know, if your yeah. door panel, if your door don't shut when you get done with it, you got a problem. So yeah, that, that was a big waste of money. <laughs> yeah, I hear so. you. I hear you. Hey, man. So why don't you show me the little stitch out that you got yeah. going for uh, for the C10 build? So here's what we're gonna do for you. I'm gonna do a little plaid. Um, it's actually distressed vinyl. It's some nice stuff, but it'll last for now. I'm gonna do a white stitch. The stitch actually looks like it's bone colored. It, it is, it really, yeah. I'm saying white, but it's more of a neutral white, yeah, you know, off yeah. white. So yeah, it really don't look. Uh, so okay, so you're working on the door panels yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, so what 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 are you, what are you so doing? So you scratch your, you know, you had these, right? Yeah. Scrap them out and make new ones. So okay. I uh, got some new ones. Make them out of plastic. It'll last forever. Got you. Um, we're just gonna kind of keep it. I like to keep everything kind of simple but clean. Yeah. In this area, we're gonna have plaid, right? Okay, that'll be so, plaid. So that strip's gonna be plaid, and mm -hmm. we're gonna do that same trim that I got on the '55 door. We're gonna come around it. Okay. Mount it in that little area. Right I got there. you. I and got besides you. Besides that, the rest of it's gonna be, the rest of it's gonna be brown. So. Okay. What are you doing for the pocket for the, uh, for the? That, uh, that's actually got a trim piece that goes with the door handle. So, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's got that'll be a polished trim piece, and then of course you want the crank will be polished. I got you. I and got that's you. That's why I kind of want to do the trim too. We'll polish it up, make it look like it was supposed to be there. Yeah. So, even yeah. Though it's, uh, even though it's not. Now before, I already got this one. I say I'm smoothing them up. Uh huh. Like this right here. So they had a big, had a big gouge in them. You know that went all the way around. You kind of see it. I got it in Bondo now. But yeah. So basically, I'll block this flat and take that gouge out. Yeah. It'll change the look of it. You know, gotcha. without totally re-altering or reinventing the wheel. You know? Yeah, yeah. So it's still going to maintain somewhat of a stock look, yeah. but it's going to have its own uh, its own new identity. Absolutely, that's the game plan. At least. That's the game plan. That's the game plan. Hey, what about the uh, what about the dash? I know I bought dash. you a dash that was a little it was a little bit rough, man. But she's rough, but we'll straighten her out. So that's what we got so far. Which I got some of the areas ground down, so. Once again, simple, clean. Mm -hmm. uh, speakers went here. They won't need any more. Um, and like I said, I just kind of got it roughed in right now. So yeah. What I'll come back and do over this is I'll actually lay some kind of this Londo foam on it. Okay. Um, I'll cover the whole thing in it. We'll block it, get it straight, just like you paint the body work in it. Got we'll you. It. So. Do you think uh, you think you can get a nice? Uh, what about a nice stitch? We like gonna, yep, Like gonna, going along. We're gonna run a stitch right through here. Uh huh. We're gonna run a stitch right through there, make it follow the dash. Okay. Um, now, now, uh, where, where's that cylinder at that that uh, that I bought in? Let's kind of take a peek at that, man. And um, yeah, I've seen this yet. Let's see what yeah. you got and I want this. 
Hey Austin, did you uh, did you look on my Facebook page at the training? You see the transmission? I did. I did. Hey, so so that that color we're doing that color. Uh, the whole motor is gonna all be that color. Everything, all the accessory drive, serpentine belt, all that's gonna be all uh, black. Um, it, it's gonna look. It's, it's gonna be a nice truck. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna be a real nice truck. Well, that's what we want the we want the interior to compliment it too. You know? that's, yeah, amen. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this uh. This this just came in and uh, exactly what we what we want. So the reason I want you to bring this is because just like I said with that, I want to make sure it fits. So yeah. Of course, it's gonna be when I when I add foam to it, it's gonna be taller. I want the gap to be nice. Yeah. You know, I want everything to fit like it should. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's gonna look good. That's gonna look. Now. So basically, you'll be looking like that right there. Yeah. All right, now, are we doing any plan on that? Uh. Not going to no. No, I, no plan. Get too busy with it. No, nah, um, I hear you. This will make it look. With that being new, with that stitch across top. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be perfect. Once again, it'll be simple and clean. You know? Yeah, and that's yeah. Kinda, that's kind of me. I yeah. Think. Now I kind of just uh, I kind of just let Austin go on his own. I'm not really. I think sometimes you know you can get in the way of creativity. So I'm kind of just letting him do his own thing, you know, with it because I I know his I know his work and I know you know what it's gonna turn out like and it, it, I, I'm probably a lot better off just being quiet. <laughs> so do I get creative freedom on the seat? Go ahead, man. You, you sent me one a while back, but I kind of got a few things I want to throw at you. So okay, I'll draw you something up and then oh. you can say yeah or nay. Okay, all right, yeah. that'll work. So yeah, we uh this will be the first video. Probably we, we'll we'll probably say a three part video. I'd say so. Yeah. And, and um and fall, we'll fall goes well this week. Should have these wrapped up. So okay, so we'll we'll get back with you. Uh, uh, and uh, as always, like, share, subscribe. Hey, Austin, Austin, tell them your social media handles and, uh, and all that good stuff. Crusty Stitch on Instagram, and then you can just follow or add me as a friend on Facebook, Austin Bouchard. So I post a lot of stuff on both. All right, so here you have it. Hey, I'm I'm just gonna give y'all a quick uh, quick glance at the shop. That's the junkie side. Hey, that's the junkie <laughs> stop. <laughs> Another 55 over there. What's the chassis too? The 55. Uh, our Morrison chassis. For 55. Our Morrison uh, chassis. Yeah. Let them get a peek at that. Yeah. Let's see. Coil over. Triangulated four link. Well, that's uh, stuff. We're gonna dial it up better, but this is what the customer brought us, so we ain't really put our spin on it yet. Yeah. But we will. It's looking good. Mm-hmm. So that'll be going under that. AFR heads. Should be a good little piece. Yeah, oh yeah. And then a the little Corvette right there. It's got a Whipple 6-2 in it. A Whipple 6-2? Yep. Well, this one we did from the, well, did from the ground up twice, so. Oh, y'all done this car twice? Yep. We finished up 2010 or 11. Okay. Uh, kind of got in a, a little wreck, so we ended up putting both quarters on it, new front end, new chassis. It's got Art Morrison chassis under it. Man. Shot well, wheels. This, now you talk about nice. This is a nice piece right here. So you got to have your change right for this. Don't don't. Well, this car's been in their family since the man, the 70s. Yeah. There was a race car before this. Uh, before we got a hold of it the first time. Hey, what's the uh, what's the remote for? It's uh, it's got power locks and stuff in it. It's got power locks. It's one of the keyless entries deal. Okay. Uh, once you get away from the car, you got that in your pocket. It locks the doors. It shuts everything off when you get like ten foot away from it. Got you. Um, it's kind of got a lot of modern amenities. I would say. Okay. Yeah, this car is. Oh, just got done doing the carpet stuff to get too, so. The rest of it's kind of, it's going factory interior from Al Knott, but I got a chance to do the carpet. Uh, did some molded floor mats and stuff for it. Did you wrap the dash? I did not wrap the dash. No, it's from Al Knott too, so. Man, it looks good though. That lipstick red ain't it ain't playing man. <laughs> no, it's, not. it's a lot of red, but it fits. It it, it does. <laughs> it it does. So 
I did all the trunk panels and stuff in the back. Okay. Got a little access panel here. And Was that for the battery? Yeah. Well, that's just for putting their cleaning supplies. So all right. Okay. You got to have somewhere to put your cleaning supplies. The battery and stuff's behind that front panel. Okay. Covered up. Yeah. Make pretty, you know. Okay. Man. Yeah, this thing here, man. This is something else right here. It's a whole nother thing. The four wheel disc brakes, the wheel woods. I know it's probably got coilovers on all four yeah, corners. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, sure does. All right, man. Hey, YouTube, once again, this is uh this is Austin and y'all see what he does. Get get with him. Hey, you 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 I promise you you won't be disappointed. Appreciate it, man. All right, man.